Hey, it's Jason from Hardware Journal. I'm with Daniel from Airco. We're going to be talking about screws, but something a little bit differently, packaging. And also we're actually going to talk about a um, different product, which is an air compressor. Um, just start with the screws, um, Daniel, and what you want to talk about. Yeah, so one of our new products, obviously you've got your nails and your screws um, in blister packs, which is um, most commonly sort of merchandise in most hardware stores. Also in your tubs as well, but we found that Screws in jars is a bit of a trending product at the moment. It's actually uh, one of the biggest growing categories in the hardware sector at the moment. So we've just brought out a few different types of screws in jars. Um, for your average DIYer, sorry. Um, basically they're re reusable, so really handy there. And a lot of guys like to screw up the lids uh, in your shed and um, keep them stored in a nice, easy, clean way. Um, so we found again, quite a popular product. And you, did you find also that um, the size and volume was appropriate to just that more DIY market where they don't have to buy a big packet of screws, um, it's small like that, is that part of the design brief? Yeah, correct. So you know, you're between your 50 to 100 quantity pack, um, yeah. you don't want anything smaller than that or anything bigger. Mm. Again, for I guess the intended purpose, we found that that packet size is uh, perfect for what most people want, mm. so yeah. 100%. And then moving on, you've got a, obviously a larger um, screw, larger packaging. Yeah, so um, these here are the mix packs, again, sort of aimed at your uh, DIYer. You never know what you're going to sort of need it for around the house. Um, having access to multiple different types of um, screw sizes, lengths, yep. is always handy, as opposed to committing to a big pack of the one type of screw. Yeah. Um, so yeah, really handy for that. But we're going to move away from screws. We're going to go completely uh, different. We're going to talk about compressors. Yep. Um, you've got the um, Senko compressor there. Do you want to talk a little bit about that yeah, one? Yeah, so fairly new product. Um, I guess the beauty about this compressor here is it's silent technology. So it runs at around about 68 decibels, which is about the same noise level as a conversation like what we're having right now. So normal uh, traditional compressors working, what, about 120 decibels, 90 to 120 decibels? Probably, like probably towards your sort of 80 decibel mark. Okay. Yeah. So, which, so um, you've got about 20% difference. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot, but once you turn it on, you listen to a conventional compressor, yep. the noise level is uh, mm. a lot higher. There's yeah. quite a discrepancy there. So. It's quite a small compressor, so from a capacity to handle um, the different size air tools, is it limited in any way at all? Yeah, so it's probably, we sort of market it as our all-rounder. Um, kind of deceiving because the output is quite good. So you can run most of your air tools on this compressor. So tackers, nailers. Yeah, so you can um, run a coil yeah. gun off that. You could even run a framing gun. Um, yeah. But if you're banging out house frames all day, we advise to go for something bigger. Um, like this one in the back here. So big framing gun, you could do one or two nails uh, if you need to do a quick job. Yeah, if you're doing a bit of reno work, yeah. again, perfect. Yeah. Um, the good thing about these as well, they will fit under a standard hardtop ute cover too, yeah. um, which is quite handy for a lot of tradies. Um, Daniel, how much do they weigh? Are they heavy? Um, are they portable? Yeah, so you've got a, you got a handle there as well. Um, obviously yeah. being square and compact and whatnot, yeah. really easy to carry around and that was factored into the design process. Yeah. Guys who might be working at multiple stories, again, needs to be fairly light. It's around about the 20 kilo mark, so. Yeah, so tradies to... walking up flight of Correct. stairs, do a quick job uh, out. Um, so from an ergonomics um, weight point of view, yeah. um, it's a really good compressor. Yeah, and one other good feature as well, it is oilless too. Yeah, so yeah. a lot of the sort of maintenance management with compressors is keeping the compressor lubricated. Mm. So with this, you don't have to worry about that at all, yeah. um, which just obviously means it's gonna be better for longevity and whatnot too, yeah. so. Um, really good talking to you today. Likewise.